Welcome back to Timber Bonus. It's the actual season finale. I promise I'm not lying. We made so many memories. Bridges, reservoirs, aqueducts. But most importantly, shaming architects. Oh, and there were some deaths. Yes, hello fellow engineers, it's actually the season finale of season 4 of the Timber Bonds. Look at everything we've achieved! I'm actually super proud of my little beavers of Engineerington. Uh, we have we have outdone us. I look at this place, we have really, really evolved. And if you remember last time, we come over to this, if we just press pause quickly. Look, there we go, we made robot beavers! So our actual beavers should be able to relax finally. And let these guys do all the work. So that's what we're sort of going to be progressing today. We're going to be trying to make as many of those as we can. And we do that over here. So we've got these golem part factories. So they make like the arms, the heads, the bodies. And then look down in here. They get assembled. So you just, oh, like a body's just gone on there. And the more of those we make, the more fuel we need. That's what this lovely polluting building does. Uh, stocks up this one full of fuel. Oh, and by the way, before we get too far. Bridges are coming. Bridges are coming. Bridges are coming. Bridges are coming. You still have time to grab your Bridgman sweater before the big day. Only available on my special spring store. So yeah, if you want to get one of those, remember you need to use the, the rush shipping or super rush shipping now. But who doesn't want to celebrate Bridgmas on the day itself? So yeah, be quick if you want to get one. There's really not much time remaining. Now I actually, I love the Bridgmas sweater. Probably one of my proudest merch moments. I mean, maybe, maybe the Boosh or maybe the Beavles merch is better. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What do you think is best? But anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. We got, we got beavers to manage. Uh, so the main thing is, I think I just need to grow this. So we need to make sure we've got the resources to build these guys. They've got biofuel, they've got metal blocks, they've got planks. Why are we slacking on planks suddenly? We've got 216, so we shouldn't be slacking. I'll tell you what though, I think we have enough gears. Let's find the gear workshop. There they are, there they are. Stop making gears, bridges don't suck. Whilst I appreciate your name, we don't want any more gears. All right, nice, that's all said. We're just making planks. Uh, is our metal blocks okay? We've got 66. I'll tell you what, I think we need to head over one more time over to this place. Every metal turn. Yeah, and just check how the scrap metal is getting on. So yeah, these guys are over here. They're still taking down these ruins. There's loads of scrap metal left, to be fair. And we got we got a little boar hound down there. He's mining the, the scrap. And people are carrying that all the way over, right over to here, into this building. So this is where it's getting stored. You can see if we scroll down, the only thing getting stored here is scrap metal. And basically, when that fills up to 200, I just swap the path so it ends up as part of Engineerington and then tell them to empty it by clicking that. Uh, it's a nice way to like get resources across different districts districts without having to do the district, whatever these are called, distribution posts. So yeah, nice. I think things are going really well, to be fair. As night draw, hang, hang on a second. Pause, pause. What is that? There's a death. Why oh, did you die of old age? Bad wolf, dead. Bad wolf was forced to die by an evil. What? What does that even? What? Hang on. What's under there? Zeke Vitoru, dead, was forced to die by an evil death. What? I don't understand. What does that even mean? I don't know. Anyway, let's fast forward through the night because we don't like playing at night time. We can't really see what's going on. There we go. Sun is rising. Uh, and you know what that means? We are down to just 11 days of this drought remaining. So this is the longest drought possible in the game. 30 <clears throat> days. Uh, we've never survived one this long. Thankfully, we did build this before. The Giga Reservoir. Uh, and because I put these floodgates in, it means we can bring water down to here as needed. Actually, I should probably lower all those ones. I don't know what they're doing. That's it. Let all the water out. I basically need this to stay green. So all my carrots stay fresh. All my trees stay fresh. We don't want them to die. Right, how are the golems get? Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's got to be nearly done, is it? 70%. That is decent. And I feel like because that says like two of everything, like eight limbs, does that mean two are going to be made at once? Potentially. Potentially. Oh, no. Someone's injured themselves. Jordan Miller has had a workplace related injury. <laughs> We might get sued. Maybe that's why Timberborn is ending today. I mean, where is he going? What? You're right, mate. What was that all about? That was a bit weird. <laughs> He's not going to go die, is he? That's where someone died recently. Seems to be weird deaths going on. Oh, no, look, look. There you go. He's gone to the medical bed. So he's getting, he is getting healed. So we're not getting sued today. I love it. Right, all these things, they seem to be slacking. Like, I want to build more golems, but we've really, we've got the resources. We just can't get them there quick enough. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to prioritize all of these by haulers. And then that should mean we get there a bit quicker. Oh, by the way, look who I've just found in the fields. It's our next barrel bot. So I'm not sure where the other one is, but uh, this this one's just like chilling out. You're unemployed, mate. Yeah, we need to we need to give you a job, I guess. And since they can work through the night, I was sort of thinking if I come over to like the hauling post, if I make if I make that 
golem friendly, then... Oh, I actually take science to unlock a workplace for golem. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave that hauling post as normal beavers. We'll get another one built right next to it. So let's high prioritize that, please. And then I'm going to unlock this one for golems. Hey, what? I don't, I don't have enough science points. I got 200. How much do I need? Oh, I need 250. Right, I'll tell you what then. Let's get a beaver in the science. Hang on. What the? What? There's two deaths. I was about to put the golem in the science place. Why are there two deaths? Jeff Boutetet and Orgtop. Why, the, why are they both dead? I was forced to die by an evil death. What is that all about? What is going on? Why is it only happening at night time? We are losing beavers like anything though. Yeah, anyway, can I can I actually put a golem in there? Only beavers are allowed to work in this workplace. Oh no. So sadly our golem can't produce science for us. All right, I'll tell you what then. I'm going to quickly high prioritize science. Get everyone sciencing just for a little bit. I got to get 50 science. So the rooftops are spinning, which means they're sciencing away in there. Oh, and look at that numbers going up. They are flying. All right, so that's good. Let's unprioritize those again because we, we don't really want people doing science. Anyway, it's another morning. The beavers are about to get up. No, another. Wait, that's just, oh no, baby Ash. Oh, that is absolutely just what? Look at this. So Ashes was born and then forced to die by an evil dev. We got to find this dev. Something seems to have infected my game or the beavers or something. I don't know what's going on. Man, this is turning into like who shot Phil Mitchell of EastEnders. Completely unreleased topic. Like there's no inspiration from that at all. But it's got to be one of these beavers has got to be guilty. I mean, what about you? Montana Williams, 78. You were just minding your own business sleeping, were you? And now you're back to farming. Hmm, do we believe him? I mean, does anyone else look suspicious? I mean, what are you? You're just up there on your own doing nothing. Uh, that's a 123-year-old phallus-shaped bridge. <laughs> what a name. Oh, he's run off. He's run off. Feeling guilty, are we? Phallus-shaped bridge. Uh, now he's in the corner thinking about what he could have done. I don't know who to believe, what to believe. All I do know, I feel like we need to up the golem production. And also, how why is this hauling thing taking so long? Planks. You've got 248 planks. What's taking so long? All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. We've got 7 out of 10 planks. So hopefully they should build that now. So I'm going to go ahead. I might just build... No, I mean, looking at this, to be honest, I feel like I'm going to have to build everything. Building a new assembler won't actually help me. I feel like everything's sort of perfectly balanced, as one might say. Although, actually, no, we do have a lot of heads. Yeah, we have a lot of heads and bodies. Yeah, sod it. I'm going to build another one then. So, golem assembler. Let's shove that there. And now, obviously, that's going to need power, and it's it's the wrong side of the road for that. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do cheeky little... I was going to say cheeky platform, but actually, it might be easier just to come straight out of that. So, if I do platforms over to there, we can do... Power shafts along there, corner one on the end. And then we only need one of these high power shafts because they use quite a bit of resources. Like if I were to do like a bridge over, I might have to do like two of those and then I'd probably have to do a bridge review and then, you know, it just, it just gets messy. Boosh. Okay, so that's sort of ready to go. Now you can see all the haulers, by the way. They're the ones with the backpacks. They are delivering all the goods to the Golem Park factory. So they're way more stocked up now. Decent. So yeah, nice. We're looking good. I think we've doubled our golem production, at least once that gets built. Now, we're heading into the next evening. 8.3 days of the drought remaining. Uh, water level looking pretty good down there. What are, you, what are you doing in the water, mate? Oh, hang on, hang on. Look, he's still he's still unemployed. All right, well, I'm going to spend the 250 science unlocking the workplace for golems. And now, he is a hauler. So, he should make his way up there. So, yeah, you can see buildings that have golems working them. The lights are blue rather than orange. I really like that. That's actually really cool. And obviously, they work through the night. So, over here, yeah, we still got the log pumper in that one. That's NCC 1701. Uh, working working hard over here. Fair play. All right, so Barrelbot is currently in there. I feel like I should probably rename him after one of my Patreons. And I feel like Briskinator is sort of like Terminator. So you're in there. Um, I do, I do wonder what you're doing over this end of the map, though. I thought you meant to be in the hauling post. Oh, wait, what the... What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's, what's going on in here? We got two more deaths. Lego Morph and Archangel 695. Yeah, forced to die by an evil dev. What is this evil dev thing? Really strange. Either way, I've... <laughs> I love that the beavers like don't seem too fast. They're like, yeah, there was death down there, but uh, I gotta have a beer, haven't I? Anyway, it's another morning, so I'm gonna get everyone to prioritize this golem assembler. I want to build these as quickly as possible, really. Uh, the one over here. Oh yeah, look, next one's nearly done. 85%, not bad. So we'll leave them doing that, and then see how we get on. I should probably check the water level. So as the sun sets, we'll have a little. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we made this double depth, didn't we? So yeah, we can hold twice as much water in there now. Yeah, that is decent. Hang on, what's what's that in the trees? Can you see that in the trees? Oh, oh no! <laughs> 
A beaver died and a tree has just grown through it. Kalishnikov 295. Oh no, it's another forced to die by an evil dev. Right, there's something going on here. There is something going on. I mean, perhaps it's because we haven't got any big construction projects going on. Maybe one of the beavers has gone AWOL or something. I mean, what I could do, I could prep for this by making like more power. Because whilst there isn't much space over this side, we could do something like this ready. So we know the gravity batteries are actually amazing. The question is, can I squeeze them like over this side? Because if we have these like all along this edge, like that's a really, that's a really high drop. So that's a lot of power they'll store. And if you did miss the last one, basically these work when there's excess power in the network, they, they pull the weight up and then say like the wind stops. So we're not generating enough power. We're using more than we're generating. And this will produce power by dropping that weight down you know, until the wind comes back and then that pulls the weight back up again. Now you can see they have 12,000 HP per hour. Uh, beavers work in horsepower, apparently. I mean, I guess it could be human power. Who knows? But yeah, with those over there, we do need we need a way to get the, the shafts across. So I reckon we can sort of build like a bridgey thing. If we do like a corner there, hang on, we're going to line up with that one. So we'll put a two of there, a one of there. And in case you have no idea what I was talking about, I was talking about these high power shafts because then we can do that that and that with a corner piece in there and then just shaft across like that and that will basically add loads of capacity to our network in terms of battery storage uh, which we're going to need if we're going to expand on this side i'm ideally hoping to like perhaps add some golem part factories down this side i'll shove those through there i will low prioritize those for now just because i don't think we need the parts at the moment but yeah i really i really just want to make a better life for my beavers like they've had such a long season of carrying stuff and work in the field and pumping their logs. I mean, they're even getting splinters, I hear. So yeah, whilst that's going on, might be an idea to give them like somewhere to relax as well. Like I would love to get a mud bath. The trouble with that is that we're going to need all the like terrain deformation stuff, which actually maybe that's what I can work on today because you may have noticed over here. Look, we've got a huge, a huge lake area. We could turn this into a farming district. I put in our golems to work in those. Now we're going to need a lot of science and stuff. So uh, I might just have to fast forward like a few years and see what happens. I mean, I'm pretty certain we're going to survive this drought. So that means we can survive any drought, right? So yeah, I'll fast forward and I'll see you guys in a few years. Right, so fast forwarded to cycle 69. Nice. Um, and check this out. Look, our dreams have come true. Golems are in every single building. Like they're literally doing all the hard work. So our beavers don't have to do anything. In fact, most of them are enjoying the life of retired beaverhood, I guess. Look, there's even carousel set up. The beavers are literally loving life. They are thriving. So yeah, the golems have literally taken over. They are serving our beavers. I have noticed though, if we head over to Aqueductington, I'm not sure if that's like efficient crop circleage or what's going on there. There seems to be some sort of project happening over in Aqueductington, you know, right by the reservoir. But I have noticed as well, doesn't seem to be any more, any more of those unusual deaths. So perhaps the the evil dev has moved on. Anyway, since things seem to be going so well, I sort of wanna I wanna fast forward again. Uh, let's see let's see what happens to Beaver Kind. As I said before, I feel like this would make a lovely sort of planting area, a whole new district. And yeah, you can see down here all this stuff is unlocked, so we should be able to do that soon. Right, so I've skipped forward to cycle 100. You can see there's just, there's loads, loads and loads of the golems. Now, actually, I don't see any normal beavers. I mean, according to up here, I still have 57 of them. But I don't see them anywhere. Oh, hang on, what's going on over here? What is going on over here? Look at all the dynamite on this. Actually, they were building something over this. Oh no, oh no, I think I found, I found the beavers. It looks like they've all been enslaved. I mean, perhaps maybe they became architects and they're all being shamed. I mean, if that is the case, perhaps we should. Shame, 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 shame. But uh, it doesn't look good for our golems. And oh, what is that noise? What is that noise? Whoa, all the dynamite. It's all going off. Whoa, what are they up to? What are they up to over here? I don't know what is going on, but how? Oh no, look. Look, they're all being forced to die by an evil dev. Maybe they're the ones that refuse to power this. So what even is this thing? Dirt excavator, terraformation station. All right, well, do I even want to fast forward? I'm scared of what I might find. Anyway, I think it needs to be done. All right, well, we're nine more cycles in. You can see, you can see the water's completely gone. Still some beavers remain. Looks like they're still 
churning up the ground and storing mud over there. You can see they've actually got the beavers doing the work now. Do I dare leave this running for another few cycles? Well, let's see what happens anyway. Right, well, we're in cycle 126. All I see is loads and loads of dead beavers. I mean, even, even the robots are dying. What is going on? Oh, what is that? What is that? <gasps> That's what they were doing. Wait, I've seen that symbol before. I, I think I know what that means. What's in there? So zooming right in, there is a golem. Wait, I know those eyes. I know those evil eyes. NCC 170. Wait, you were the first ever golem. Wait, what's that? Come closer. What do you mean I should have paid attention to the symbol the whole time? That symbol? I mean, yeah, I know this symbol has been following me around in every video game. You're saying I'm cursed? What do you mean turn around? If I, if I turn around, there's I, d I don't see anything. What, what are you on about? No, not like that. So you mean if I come out, like onto my desk and turn around and... <gasps> what is that? No, no, what are you doing? No! 